Another good thing to have is a, is a whistle that, you know, like if your kids, wait a minute, that's lip balm. Yeah, that, that whistle's broke. Oh. I'm a little bored. It seems like every year new gadgets come on the market that are designed to make your ski experience easier or more fun or more challenging. Now, there's some that borderline on great and there's some that are good. We're going to take a look at the great. Starting off with these nifty little things, what you do is put screws in this, put them on the wall. Then you can set your snowboard, if I can show this, you know, and then you set your snowboard in like that and once you've got them on the wall you turn that up and you can display your snowboard because I've been told a lot of snowboarders consider their board a work of art ma'am now if you're doing everything right you've got your smart wool socks on you've got a properly fitting ski boot and your feet are still just cold all the time look at this this is the insole out of your ski boot as it stands what they do is they take, they cut a little hole right here, they put the heating element right there, run the cord through the hole, out the back, up your boot, and it connects to this little heater that attaches to the back of your boot. And they cover it with this little pad right here. It's all seamless, you don't feel it. It's extra com comfy, and then you can just dial it up from, oh, that's nice and toasty, to, oh my gosh, my feet are on fire. <laughs> okay, we all know one thing that's really important is goggles. You just got to have goggles out there. But, lo and behold, and they come with different lenses, this is one of them. And this is a really cool idea because it's two layers of lenses. One on the front, one on the back. Now, why is that, Mike, you ask? Well, here, the deal is when you put these on, heat from your head hits this back lens, Cold air hits the front, but since there's two lenses, they don't fog up. And if any moisture gets in there, there's a little hole right there that lets that moisture out. Yay. Okay, now if you're at the resort and you decide, oh, I'm famished, let's go eat, and you just prop your skis or your board up somewhere, you've got to have a lock. People will take that. I know it's a sad day, but just be, get, get a cable lock like that. And just be on the safe side. Make sure your skis and boards are there when you're done eating. This is not necessarily a gadget, but it is an awfully handy thing to have. It's not Scotch Guard, but if you've got a ski jacket that's already waterproof, we know that after two or three or four washings, you're going to begin to lose some of that um, uh, protection. And so you spray this on there, and it fixes it. It reinvigorates it. Speaking of invigorating, we all know helmets are important from a safety standpoint, and more and more folks are choosing a helmet over a hat uh, for warmth and safety. But look what they're doing now. Okay, this is active ventilation. So here we are, super, super cold day. Uh-oh, it's Beach Mountain. Now it's 45 degrees and I need a little air on my head. So this is, this is what they're doing with helmets now. Also, they're using the, a third party company to to give you a, a better way to tighten it so you've got a much better fit and it's a lot more comfortable than helmets used to be. North Face really puts out some cool stuff and these aren't just regular gloves. The cool thing about these gloves is if you have a smartphone that has a touch screen this, what do you say? It's has got a little magnet in it's there. It's got a magnet in there. And so with these gloves, you can pull your smartphone out and continue to operate it. How cool is that? And look at how fancy snowshoes have gotten. They've come a long way from the wicker rattan days. Um, this even has a quick release so you can get in your boots in and out of it. And, you know, places like Sugar Mountain do guided snowshoe tours. And of course you can run in there, or you can buy your own fancy pair. When they close the parkway, you can snowshoe all day long. And for you avid snowboarders, you know that these bolts hold this thing together, but over time, these bolts are going to loosen up. So it's really important that you have a bullet tool. And you just put that in your pocket and then, you know, when you get to the bottom of the slope or something, you can take this out, tighten all the bolts, and you're ready to go again. 
How handy is that? So you need to go out and buy some of these handy gadgets or you're not going to be anywhere near as cool as you could be. We'll be right back.